What are you doing? Good morning. Hi, everybody. Welcome in, welcome in. Hi, guys. Welcome in. Tap that screen. Happy Tuesday morning. Here at the Brevard Zoo, just getting ready to take you guys around and see what animals we can spot today. I'm just giving it a second for some more people to join us, but we'll get going. Let's start off with Rainforest Revealed. That is the name of this loop. Good morning, Marcy! So there are five loops here at the Brevard Zoo, which is about a 35 minute drive from the port, from Port Canaveral. We came here uh, for the first time on Saturday, except we got here a little bit later in the day. None of the animals were really out because it was so hot. <laughs> they were just trying to all uh, stay, stay cool. So we'll see what we can see today, guys. Hopefully, we'll have better luck. I do have a gift goal of 300 cat paws. It's much cooler today, too, by the way. I think this just holds some snakes and stuff, so I don't care to see the snakes. Sorry, guys. <laughs> What's your favorite zoo animal? Put it in the chat. Favorite zoo animal. I don't see anybody in there. Giraffe, cheetah. Ooh, you guys! The panthers are here. Oh no, wait. Cheetah. I didn't know they had cheetahs over here. Holy schmoly, you guys! Hi, baby. Hi. <laughs> Oh, I want him to look this way. Look at those legs. My goodness. My goodness. That beautiful animal. Zoos do amazing things to help endangered species, so uh, maybe educate yourself on the benefit of zoos and all the help that they do to preserve uh, wildlife, the animals that are here in the zoos. Um, <laughs> Hi, baby. Hi. <laughs> Okay, uh, just letting you guys know, if you uh, are anti-zoo, we will get blocked immediately. That's just the way it's going to go here. <laughs> That's the way it's going to go here. You're entitled to your opinion, but I'm not, there's nothing that says I have to let you be spewing your hate on my uh, live stream. Anyway, aren't they beautiful? Oh my gosh. So normally they used to have um, the Florida panther. He's going to go take a nap. Yeah, they used to have the Florida... Um, oh, so this is pepper. Meet pepper. <sighs> Wonder why there is a cheetah, a species native to the African savanna, living in rainforest revealed. It's because of our commitment to providing the best care 
for all animals at Brevard Zoo throughout their li entire lives. Born in 2008, Pepper has lived longer than most cheetahs. As she has gotten older, her interests and behaviors have started to change. Pepper no longer chooses to chase a lure or spend time in the open plains of our Expedition Africa habitat. Instead, she prefers to stay in the shade and in the bushes. What better place for a cat like that than the rainforest? <laughs> She's happy. Oh, you should definitely come over. If you live in Orlando, you're not too far away. Brevard Zoo is awesome. Yeah, she's beautiful. All right, guys, moving on. Moving on. So look at right up here, guys. Let's see. <laughs> I'm trying to get the gimbal to line up. Look at this. Ugh. This is the Brevard Zoo. <laughs> She's just taking a nap up there. Uh, let's see who we got right here. The Brevard Zoo, guys. It's about a um, 35 minute drive from Port Canaveral. Let's see if I can get this to focus on this one right here. These are capuchin monkeys. Thank you guys so much for tapping that screen. I appreciate it. Let's see if there's anybody in here. Oh yeah. Sleeping, napping, resting. This is a Bolivian gray TT monkey. <laughs> Bolivian gray TT monkey. If it, I think that this sign right here shows that that little guy, that little guy. And let's see if we see anybody else in there. Mm. Oh, there's a <laughs> there's a there's a little turtle down there. Thank you guys so much for tapping the screen. I'm hoping we can see some of the um, spider monkeys today. They were uh, completely missing when we were here the other day. And I still don't see any just yet. They have a huge, um, like a whole bunch of... Um, enclosures all connected so they have a lot of room to play a lot of room to play guys hi Thank you guys so much for tapping the screen. We're trying to get to 300 cat paws if you want to help support this channel. Let's see, we got some in here.
<laughs> Thank you, Soda Pop. Good morning, Trinidad. Oh. for those cat paws, guys. Hi, Kayla. I could watch the monkeys all day. Thank you guys for tapping the screen. Appears to be that way. Thank you, Soda Pop, for the heart me. Oh, no, I just think Olive's the cutest. She's the blackest one, too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they get so proud of her. Wow. She's the one on the ground right there, right? The tail, have you seen her? Yeah. yeah. She just has, like, a really distinctive head. Yeah. Yeah. And royal friends. Yeah. yeah. She would like to reach a lot better. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right, guys, I could stay and watch the monkeys all day, but we'll move on. <laughs> we'll move on. We'll move on. Tap that screen if you liked the monkeys. So um, the treetop tree track, guys, here at Bavard Zoo um, goes above a whole bunch of different enclosures. There's zip lines. There's all kinds of fun stuff to do here that is, of course, an additional charge.
Good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning. I don't bring people into my live streams uh, at, here at the zoo, Vanessa. We're trying to just show people the animals and have fun. <laughs> Somebody's sleepy. So these are squirrel monkeys. Oops. Thank you guys so much for tapping the screen. We are here at the Brevard Zoo. Whoa. <laughs> Thank you everybody that's tapping the screen if you want to share this out. Please feel free. I will be at the port uh, tonight for the departure of the Oasis of the Seas. It's going to be a nighttime departure. We might have some lightning popping in the area, maybe, possibly. But uh, either way, I'm going to do my best to make sure that it's lit. <laughs> Two sleepy otters here. <laughs> Two sleepy otters. Look at this. They're all tuckered out already. It's not even lunchtime. <laughs> They're pooped. Totally pooped. <laughs> Let's see if I can find a. I gotta go through two fences. Let's see if I can get them in the in the shot here. These are two river, river otters. So we'll see them swimming some other day. They're, they're napping now, but this is their habitat here. I love the otters too. <laughs> Love otters. That's also a good idea. Like, they're awesome. Don't know. There's a, a whole bunch of birds in here. I guess we got some. Woo wee! What are those macaws? The blue ones. Yeah, those are macaws. Sorry, the glass is like super hard to see through. <laughs> These two are having words with each other. Oh, there's a there's some monkeys or something in there too, guys. <laughs> there's something else in there. Some kind of monkey. There's one going across the rope over here. Tuckies! Hi, Tuckies! Hi, Chucky! Hi, baby Duckies! <laughs> Just chillin'. Just chillin'. 
Okay, it's gonna be a little loud up here, guys, because they're pressure washing. Oh my gosh! Okay, so I know there's a gift that's the capybara. It's a little bit similar to this. This is the um, tapir, tapir. I don't know how you pronounce it, but it looks a little bit similar to <laughs> to these guys. Let me zoom in on them. Dancing piggy right now would be awesome. <laughs> What are you doing under his butt? What are you doing under his butt? <laughs> Thank you guys so much for continuing to tap that screen. The largest rodent in the world, guys. No worries, Rob. All right, let's move on and get away from this uh, pressure washer. Yeah, there's all kinds of animals in here. We got these pink birds up here. Um, there's the blue and blue and gold macaws. Um, Let's see, monkeys of some type, some type. Oh, it says there's a capybara in here somewhere. I didn't see it though. I'm gonna plug you guys in, hold on. Oh no, I'm not, my phone's already hot. Never mind. <laughs> my phone's already warm. Your members here? Nice, yeah, me too. Me too, oh, she's feeding them over there. Still trying to get to uh, 300 cat paws, guys. Your gifts uh, are greatly appreciated. Oh, look at the little one. And the duck up on the tree, guys. The duck standing up there on that branch. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, here we go. Moving on. Thank you, Rob. one of the zip lines that you can take across the alligator pond. I think this is probably the longest zip line that they have at the park, at the zoo. Um, I'm not sure exactly when they're going to finish Africa. I'll see if I can find a sign that says. I will see if I can find out. Cause that'll be uh, <laughs> great when they get it done. Obviously, that's where the giraffes are, the rhinoceroses, the zebras, the lemurs. The <laughs> we're almost to our first goal, guys. Thank you so much, Rob. All right, we are going to, into wild Florida right now. Wild Florida. If you've ever been to a Walmart down here, that is Wild Florida. Okay, uh, moving on. Welcome in if you're just joining. This is the Brevard Zoo. We're on the. We're on a little search, a little safari here, looking for some animals. You think we'll find any? I think we will. I think we will. Do 
Yep, the lions are over are still here though for now. Thankfully, so we can see them. When I came on Saturday, they were they were sleeping in the back of their enclosure, so I didn't really get a chance to see them too well. What in the world? <laughs> what in the world? What is this thing? Holy smokes! What dinosaur are you? Oh my gosh, you guys! What in the world? JJ would freak out if he was here and saw this. Oh my gosh, you guys! <laughs> Hi! You're kind of freaky looking. Is that what that is? A snapping turtle? He's the biggest, uh... <laughs> My gosh, uh, it's an alligator snapping turtle. It's, I don't know why it says out of hot water. Are you in hot water? Are you in hot water, dude? Blink twice if you need help. <laughs> Hi, gosh, look at this, the things on the back of his head. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I want to mess with him. <laughs> Hi, Kelly. You're from Chile? All right, moving on, guys. We're going to be coming to the zoo every Tuesday morning, so you can put that on your calendar. <laughs> Join me each week for a little stroll around the zoo. <gasps> Look at this deer. Hi, baby. Hi. Oh, my gosh, it's Bambi. Bambi! Hi, baby! Hi, pumpkin! I'm just a baby! <laughs> just a baby! I didn't see him the other day. <laughs> him or her, I don't know. I don't know how to tell the difference when they're little. <laughs> Thank you so much, Frankly, for the cat paws. Meow. Let's go see some bear. Oh, turkeys. Turkeys. <laughs> Where's the bear? Oh, there it is. Look at that. Look at the bear. Oh, I'd love it if they would go take a swim. Thank you so much, Wrigley. I'm going to reset that gift goal. Give me one second. Don't send any graphic gifts. I won't see them. No. Is it 70 a year? Ideally, 75 for you know, yeah. 75 will get you to the just to make it. Let's see here. So that is also becoming a little bit more. We're going for five Lucy the Llamas, our next gift goal. Five Lucy the Llamas. I heard that. I heard they had a bear in a tree at Disney. And I was wondering if he used his annual pass or if he just did the day right. Oh, is he going to climb the ladder? <laughs> Oops, sorry guys. They are cute, aren't they? Four hearts, thank you so much. Thank you for the rose and the high bears.
<laughs> I guess there isn't really a bear. There's a dancing piggy, but is there a, is there a bear gift other than the high bear? Oh wait, there's the rose bear. Um. Ah, oh, he's friends with a cast member. He wanted to see Country Bear Jamboree. Good one. Good one. You get points. Jared gets points for the joke. <laughs> Good job, Jared. If you guys can bring the jokes, you get points. All right. Shall we move on? See if we can find... We have some uh, turkeys, I guess, here. I'm, I was told these are turkeys. They look like buzzards to me, but maybe they're turkeys. Is that a turkey? Oh, I got their attention. I've, I've attracted one right here. Gobble, 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 gobble. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's go see if we can find the lions. Okay. Let's see. Lions, tigers, and bears. Oh my. Oh, geez. Louise, right up here. Look at this, guys. He's got his back to us. Uh oh. And down he goes. <laughs> and down he goes. He's <sighs> like, oh, there's somebody trying to look at me. Let me take a nap right now. Let me take a nap right now. Oh, this one's walking around. Okay, here we go. Finally. I've been waiting forever to see these lions because I haven't been here since before the pandemic. And they were not walking around the other day. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. So there's another one sleeping up there. Well, at least we got one walking around here. Wow. Lion. We don't have any tigers at this zoo, but we do have now lions and bears. Wow. If you guys are able to get any screenshots, you can share them in the Discord. How beautiful. Holy moly. Hi. Wow. He shut down half the park. It was unbearable. <laughs> points for Marcy. Marcy gets points. In the circle of life. Do, 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 do. All right, guys, we get to see <laughs> we get to see the lions and other animals every Tuesday morning. Moving forward, Tuesday morning zoo trips. And look at this beautiful bobcat taking a little snooze. Taking a little snooze. Everybody be quiet. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. Da -da <laughs> yeah, she's just just taking a little 
snooze up there. Okay, we'll let you go back to sleep. Sorry, I didn't mean to disturb you. <laughs> All right. Yeah, they've built a lot of um, sort of cross crosswalks so that these animals have multiple enclosures that they can access at different times. So you, you're going to see lots of these um, walkways that go over. Right now, not sure if she can access. Nope, that does look open. Uh, don't know if it's... No, it's not open on this side. Otherwise, she could go all the way over here. All right. I don't know what's making that sound. <laughs> the bare necessities of life. <laughs> See if there's another bobcat in this one. There was one up there sleeping in that little thing the other day. I don't see any other ones at the moment. All right, moving on. Thank you guys for being here and for tapping the screen, cleaning my mirror, my camera for a second. Maybe we should swing by the uh, snack bar, get ourselves a bottle of water. <laughs> they do have a train here that uh, we can do the train, but not until we reach a certain number of gifters because it does have an expense to it. Um, so. We probably won't be doing the train for a while because I think it's probably going to take a while for me to build up the morning viewers on Tuesday mornings. But if we ever get uh, over 10K in gifts, then we will do the train ride. That is our, that is our threshold to ride the train, 10K. So we have the um, snack bar here. The train is back here. I'll show you guys the train. There are certain animals that you only get to see if you take the train ride, uh, such as camels. Um, I'm trying to remember what other animals there are. Let me see. Hi there. Um, so with my annual membership that I just got, is there one free? I don't know. What kind of membership did you get? Standard? Standard preferred. individual. Okay, so what is, what is, go ahead. Yep, it's just me. Okay. Just me. <laughs> Here by myself. Absolutely. Yeah, that'll be great. Alright guys, we're going on the train. We'll get our bottle of water after we go on the train ride, guys. It's supposed to leave in two minutes. Two minutes! Hi, everybody! Choo choo! I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. It used to be red, they've painted it blue. They painted it blue, guys. So. Hi. Um, I'm at the Brevard Zoo. 
We're about to go on the train ride. So you're going to get to see some animals that uh, you can't, can't see anywhere else except for on the train ride. And the Brevard Zoo is about 35 minutes. Uh, Wrigley, thank you so much for the corgi. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, yeah, the, there's a squirrel on the train already. <laughs> Let me see if I can show you guys. He already got his seat. He's ready to go. <laughs> he does. He's like, I want to go see the, the camels. I want to see the camels and the giraffes. <laughs> Anywho. Yep. Squirrel! <laughs> oh, he's taking off. He's taking off. So yeah, we're gonna do we're gonna do zoo Tuesdays, guys. Weather permitting, Zoo Tuesday is starting around 10, 10.30, somewhere in that vicinity. I want to try to get here as early as I can. Going on a train Awesome, Bailey. <laughs> I like sitting on the way back. Thank you. I'm going to sit all the way in the back. Like, that's where the cool kids sit, right? <laughs> Hi, Nanners. Oh, I could even face backwards. I don't want to do that. I don't want to face backwards. has thankfully uh, come down just a little bit. Of course, we are mostly cloudy right now, so that's helping. <laughs> Thank God. That's helping. You're welcome, Bailey. Uh, Hi, Nate. How are you? We're getting ready to go see some zoo animals here, guys. On the train at the Brevard Zoo, 35 minutes from Port Canaveral. I see a metal pole. You see a metal pole. <laughs> so observant. <laughs> Don't worry, once we get going, you guys will see animals. have to bring JJ sometime. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Maybe. We'll see. Um, it's hard bringing him out in public. <laughs> it's really hard bringing him out in public. Hi, Kayla. Um, Jennifer, on the other hand, would love the zoo. Jennifer would love the zoo. We should be departing momentarily, y'all. Can you imagine? Can you imagine Jennifer at the zoo? Holy smokes. <laughs> Holy smokes, you guys. We're just waiting for some more people to hop on here. It's not like a super long train ride, but 
long enough, and you get to see, like I said, you get to see some animals that you don't see uh, anywhere else in the zoo. Nate, you'd love to see Jennifer at the zoo. I'm sure it'll happen eventually. We're going to be here every Tuesday morning. Every Tuesday morning, starting around 10, 10, 15, 10, 30, the latest, hopefully. All right. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the Cape to Cairo Express. <laughs> For your safety and the safety of our animals, we do just ask that you please keep your hands and feet inside the train car at all times. Now, there will be a point where we enter an open animal yard, and at that point, we do ask that you please refrain from touching any animals if they do happen to get a little too close to the train. Now, while we are in that open animal yard, we do ask that you also keep a tight grip on your belongings. That includes hats, phones, wallets, and keys. Because if they do happen to fall out during that experience, I will not be able to stop and retrieve those items. Now, other than that, is everybody ready to go? Yes. So ready. Awesome. All right, guys. So just so sit ready. back, relax, and enjoy the ride. Uh, I have no idea when the vision left yesterday because uh, it was after I left. And I think I left it like... Um, I don't know, six, six something, and they were still there. So, port of call, port of call, um, you know, cruises, they usually leave later, eight o'clock, nine o'clock, ten o'clock. Alrighty, everybody, again, good morning. My name is Hannah, and I will be your train conductor today. How's everyone feeling this morning? I'm white knuckling it. Awesome to hear, guys. <laughs> All right, so to start off our train ride, I'd like to tell you guys a little bit about the Bar Zoo. So our mission statement is that we share our joy of nature to help wildlife and people thrive. And a way we do this is actually a portion of your admission and or membership here is actually going towards our different conservation efforts around the globe. Much like our giraffe conservation in Africa, our jaguar conservation in South and Central America, and even our scrub jay, beach mice, and sea turtle efforts right here in Brevard County, Florida. Now coming up on your right hand side, you will notice this building. Now this is our maintenance building. There is nothing that these guys haven't planted, painted, built, or even torn down here at the bar too. So we like to show our appreciation of those guys for always working so hard for us. And then off to our left, you guys will hear them before you see them. This is our free flight aviary, and I will talk more about those guys on our return trip. Now coming up, we are approaching the tunnel that does lead us to the open animal yard. So at this time, just as a reminder, please keep your hands and feet inside the train and remain seated. Now as we enter this tunnel, if you guys want to take a look to your left hand side, you will notice three large white eggs on the ground. Now try to remember these eggs and get a pretty good look at them, because on the return trip, I will be asking who you think laid those. Who laid the eggs? Who laid these eggs? All right, guys. Now, as we enter our... You guys, I need help. Who laid those eggs? The first animal I'd like to talk about today is very good at playing hide-and-seek. Now, we might find them a little bit later on in the tour. That's where they've been sitting today. But they are our eastern bongos. Now, these guys are a rust-like brown color with white stripes and spiraled horns. They are one of the largest species of forest antelope, and they are that triage aphid, which means they do just have those spiraled horns. All of their names are Sebastian, Denver, Ginger, Clover, Sugar, and our new special guest, our baby Bongo, was actually just born less than two weeks ago. So he will be making an appearance today. I did see him out later in the yard. So whenever we see them, I will tell you a little bit more about those guys. But coming up on our left-hand side, you guys will notice a lot of construction going on. Now this is the work of our Africa Loop at the moment, which is opening back up October 7th. Right now you guys will notice our big rhino yard. And then right next to it is our giraffe yard off in the distance. And I'm just going to come to a brief stop because I do have an oryx on the tracks. Just give me one second to call a zookeeper to come help us out. Oh, there's an animal on the tracks. She had to stop. I didn't understand what she said it was on the tracks, and I can't see. An oryx, a scimitar oh. horned oryx. A 
scimit we'll say that again. A scimitar horned oryx. A scimitar uh, right, guys, horned we oryx. We do have some zookeepers okay, I have no idea what that looks like. I'm like, I don't know that name. Animal name. Respect, <laughs> the, guy, the guy's over there working in the yard with all the big machinery. That is the work of our new lion habitat. That is coming in the middle of next year. But right now what we are looking at, like I said, is our rhino yard. So this is where our three white rhinos come to chill out. This is their habitat over here. All of their names are Frankie, Azuri, and Kabibi. Now Frankie are one of our white rhinos, our only male white rhino. He weighs about 5,700 pounds. And Azuri and Kabibi weigh close to 4,300 to 4,600 pounds. Now right now they not, are not in the yard. They are in our Africa barn, which is what we are going to be passing by here in a few minutes. But it is just because it is under construction at the moment. But the reason why we are stopped is this oryx on the tracks. Now this is our scimitar horned oryx herd. Can't see These it. guys are a desert antelope. And they do have a pretty cool adaptation to where they can change their internal trees. body temperature. And it does look like the oryx is coming off the tracks here. I'm going to move a little closer. Alright, perfect. Let me just let these zookeepers know real quick. Here we go, here we go, guys. Alright, perfect. We're gonna get a move on now. But these are the scimitar horn works of our herd. And then of course we are passing by that zebra there. Now this is one of the grevy zebras, a part of our grevy zebra family here at the zoo. A grevy zebra is known to be the imperial zebra, which just means they are the largest species of zebra. Those guys actually have black skin with black and white stripes covering the top of them. And the reason being is because that black skin is actually used as a protectant from the sun. And just like our own human fingerprints, no two zebra stripes are the same. Now also coming up, we Updates do on have what? three brothers of our Watusi cattle off to our right hand side. Wow. And just Look at these off horns. to the left of these guys, you will notice our baby bongo by himself over here, right by the water. Baby bongo. Look at those Watusi cattle Where? brothers. Those guys are pretty much known to be the Texas Longhorns of Africa. They also have that cool adaptation ah, to where they so can change the their lava. internal body temperature. Woo. Those guys can live up to 120 degrees or even as low as 20 degrees. Sorry, guys. And they change best. their internal body temperature doing so through those beautiful horns that you saw. And off to our left we are passing by another Frankie here at the zoo. And that is Frankie our dromedary camel. Now inside the camel sump, a lot of people think it is water, but that is not entirely true, as it is fat, and that fat can give a camel enough energy up to 100 miles or even 10 days in the desert. Thank you so much for that, Lucy the and Llama. see if you guys can spot out that baby bongo off to our right hand side there, because we do have the rest of our bongo family off to your left hand side over here by the fence. Oh, the splash pad's open. The only thing that's closed is Africa. Now a little bit more about our Watusi cattle brothers. Those guys are actually not used for their meat in the wild. They are used for their milk, as they produce a 10% milk fat. Whereas in comparison to our regular dairy cows, who only produce 4%. And again, I am just going to come to a little bit of a stop because I do have a zebra just a little too close to the tracks here. Perfect. Looks like they're getting a move on here. Now again, guys, if the zebras do happen to get a little too close, please just refrain from touching these guys. Whee! All of our zebras' names here at the zoo, we do have Bakari, our male dominant. We have Zonka, the mother of the new baby zebra, and that name is Zippy. And then we have Jersey, Iggy, and Ziggy. Now, a little bit more about our oryx as we pass by. I'll tell you a little backstory on these guys. So these guys actually went extinct in the year 2000. But thanks to different breeding conservation efforts around different zoos, they were able to be brought back in 2016. So we are very thankful to have them here at Brevard Zoo, along with our Eastern Bongos, because those guys are actually very critically endangered due to their habitat loss for agriculture in the wild 
We're going for four more Lucy the Llamas, guys. Four more Lucy the Llamas. Trying to pay for the train ride. On our left, on the ground, you guys will notice this skull. Now, this is the skull of a Nile crocodile. Now, don't worry. We don't have any Nile crocodiles here at Brevard Zoo. But we do have their American counterpart, the American alligator, along with the American crocodile right next to those guys. Now, all of their names are Toothless, Lily, and Gollum. And if you guys would like to check them out, they are in our wild Florida loop. And if you guys would also like to check out in our wild Florida loop, our lions at the moment. They're in the back right next to the black bears. Now we are going to be coming up Thank you guys for tapping the again. screen. So just at this time, please remain seated and keep your hands and feet inside the train. And as we come back underneath the tunnel, if you guys take a look to your left on the wall, you will notice a lot of these paintings here. Now this whole mural was actually done by Merritt Island Elementary School kids. And then try to remember those three large white eggs, because after I'm done ringing my bell, we're gonna guess who laid those. Who do we think laid the eggs, guys? Ostrich? <laughs> All right, guys, when I count down from three, go ahead and give me your best guesses as to what you think laid those eggs. Three, two, one. Ostrich! Awesome guesses, guys. <laughs> Those are actually giraffe eggs. Giraffe eggs! Nah, I'm just kidding. They are ostrich eggs. <laughs> so if you guys Woo! did guess that correctly, go ahead and give yourselves a pat on the back. Now, one ostrich egg can hold up to about 24 regular ah! chicken eggs, just to give you guys an idea about how big those we eggs actually right. are. They actually do have a really thick shell. Ostrich and the eggs. reason being is because ostriches weigh from about 200 to 350 pounds. Ow. A male ostrich stands at about 6 to 9 feet tall. Ostriches are known to be the largest flightless landers and can run up to 45 miles per hour and maintain that speed for 30 minutes. And while we're on the topic of birds, on to our right is that free flight aviary we passed by earlier. Now this aviary holds about 11 different species of birds, including the world's largest species of pigeon. It is a very fun and interactive experience if you guys are interested. Because you're actually able some to see these guys for just two dollars. Mm -hmm. Now you can find them right next to our kangaroos. Yes, it is the new and jungle cruise. Also, cruise. before we pass it, there is a picture opportunity off to your right hand side. If you guys would like to wave and say cheese. Oh, we get it. There's a photo. Oh, there's a camera and now for the we train ride. Passing on our right hand side is this greenhouse. Everybody now, this smile. Greenhouse is actually home to our Komodo dragon. And Everybody his name smile is for our Sheldon. picture. Now, if you guys would like to see any of these animals, I did I just Jennifer. You can find them in our <laughs> land of change loop. That will be to the right hand side they of the need cafe to fix their once you guys exit off the train. But at this time, I do just I don't think they're ready. Please I don't think they're brakes. It's just the final. wheels are squeaky. Thank you guys for joining me on the Cape to Cairo Express. I hope everybody has a wonderful day here at Bizarre Zoo. We we made it, guys. see if I can somehow get off this train. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, let's see if I can do it. I made it. Oh, except I just really tweaked my shoulder. Hang on. Hold the phone. Jen's in excruciating pain. Oh my god. Oh, my entire arm is numb. I got a bad shoulder, you guys, and I just really, really wrenched it. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. <sighs> Holy smoly. Yeah, it really, really hurts, guys. I gotta get to the doctor. <laughs> I love how people are just always staring at me like, who is she talking to? Who is she talking to? She must be crazy. She's walking around talking to herself. Whack a doodle. This lady's a wackadoodle. I know I said I was going to get a bottle of water, but I'm okay. We'll carry on. The arm's okay, guys. The arm's all right. I'm the, the feeling has come back in my arm. 
I'm gonna live another day. All right, guys, let's go into. Um, we're gonna go into lands of change. This is called. I think I'm okay. Yeah, my shoulders just. I think it's probably like a torn rotator cuff or something in my shoulder. It's really bad, and I keep forgetting I can't do certain movements with my arm. I'm okay though. All right, let me turn it around. Thank you for the second, Lucy the Llama. I don't know who sent the second one, but thank you, thank you. We're going for five Lucy the Llamas, guys. We got a bunch of, uh, I think these are called Ibis. Ibis, they love to hang out in the trees like this. See them all over Florida. We got a couple of black swans down here, too. Isn't that a ballet? The black swan? No, it's Swan Lake. Black Swan. Isn't there something Black Swan? A movie or something? <laughs> Stu. No, I never played tennis in high school. I mean, I played it for fun, but not <laughs> not on the tennis team or anything like that. No, I think it's from sleeping on my left side. Honestly, I think that's what's doing it. Because I always, I just like to sleep on my left side. And I've been squishing my squishing my shoulder for a while. All right, what do we have here? Uh, a wrinkled hornbill is what we're looking at here. Wrinkled hornbill. Look at this fancy bird. Wrinkled hornbill. So we have uh, kangaroos up here and. Uh, that's what I'm really trying to get us to, to wrap up. This will be the final, final loop in our morning walk at the Brevard Zoo. Seeing how we only have three loops open instead of, instead of all four of them. He doesn't look very happy. Okay. <laughs> all right, here's a kangaroo. Right here. Hi, baby. Oh, he's so sleepy. He's so sleepy. <sighs> Sorry, guys. Let me get you. Let me get you zoomed in on him. Sleepy. There's a whole bunch more, so we'll keep going. We'll keep going. Do they have birds that talk? Uh, wild birds typically uh, don't learn English, so I don't, I don't know if they do or not. And I'm not sure if I can go in here with a, uh, with a gimbal either, in the aviary. <sighs> Hi. <laughs> yep, I guess I can. All right. Whee! Noisy. <laughs> noisy, noisy. Can't sneak in here. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Hi. Hi. Yeah. Tell me about it. Um. <laughs> it is a little bit squeaky, squawky in here. They are deafening. <laughs> Look at you! Look at you! What are you doing? So those, the, you see them all over the place in here, the rainbow lorikeet. Um, are there multiple kinds of lorikeet or are they all the same? Yeah, they are different. There are a couple different kinds. Okay. But they interbred while they've been in here. So there's, there's some coconut, there's some swainsons, there's just a little bit of both. They're all mixed now, basically. Yeah. <laughs> We're getting there. <laughs> all right. Hi, baby. Because we can't control, really, who breathes the Yeah, that'd be difficult. <laughs> we, do, we do, however, check to see who's related. Oh, so yeah? If, if two nest together and they lay eggs, but they're related, we pull those eggs. Oh, gotcha. So we do at least control that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Cool. Have you guys all look up there? There's a lot of Kookaburra. How is it pronounced? Kookaburra or kookaburra? Both kookaburra or kookaburra. 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 The U makes the U sound in that in that word. So yeah, kookaburra. Kookaburra. They are so vain though. Kookaburra sits in the old oak tree, eating all the something something he can see. I don't remember how that song goes. <laughs> Look at that. Almost looks like a stuffed animal. Doesn't seem real. Hi. Uh, let's see. Look at this one sitting up here. Let's see. Boop, 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 boop. Look at that. Just perched up there, sleeping. Look at those beautiful blue feathers. So pretty. So pretty. Thank you guys so much for tapping that screen. I appreciate it so much. We're still going for three more Lucy the Llamas. Three more Lucy the Llamas, guys, if you want to help support the channel. And, uh... Enable me to bring you guys more more fun activities around uh, the area surrounding <laughs> the area surrounding Port Canaveral. These pink birds sleeping up here. You talking to me? You talking to me? Hi. Oh, I better make sure there's not a bird right over my head. Hi. Oh yeah. Yeah, you just <laughs> he just pooped, but luckily I wasn't right I wasn't uh standing underneath him. Hi pretty. You are beautiful. Wrigley, thank you so much. Let's see, I'm trying to get this one. There you go. Sleepy, sleepy time. Um, have I done the airboat rides? Nope, that's one of the things I'm waiting for the cooler weather. Uh, basically, I've been waiting for cooler weather for everything. The zoo, space center, everything that's outside. <laughs> I have to wait for cooler weather, so. Sleeping on one foot. But yeah, we're definitely going to do um, airboat rides, but I'm, I prefer Midway over Lone Cabbage. So I will be going there and directing uh, directing people that watch my channel to, to choose Midway. They're not paying me to say that. This is my honest opinion. I like their boats and uh, the area that they get to go better than uh, Lone Cabbage. Okay, y'all. Squeaky, squeaky. Moving on. Thank you so much. Who sent that? Busy Missy, thank you so much for the llama! Yeah, Midway is great. Isn't it, Wrigley? Okay. Is this open? Oh, okay. I'll go across here for now. I guess they only allow a certain number of people to go into the other area with the cockatiels, so I'll go back there after after we come in here and see the the kangaroos. Welcome. Hi. To see the kangaroos. Thank you. <laughs> That, so the bird over there, was that one? That one is an emu. An emu, and I knew it was. That was a male and his name is Pedro. Pedro? We have two other ones in here somewhere. There's okay. Pedro. Okay. Over across the west. Emus. No ostriches in here. No, there, we have three emus. Okay. And across the way is Daryl and LaFonda over there. Okay. LaFonda being the female and Daryl the boy. Okay, cool. Thank you. We do have one, one kangaroo in here that does have a joint in its pouch. 
it's oh. behind the B news, kind of light up Back the over there? Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. Got a little kangaroo sleeping right here. Look at this little baby. Look at the little baby. He's sleeping. Hang on, guys. I'm trying to get it. I'm trying to get it for you. Little kangaroo sleeping. He's a young one. Thank you, everybody, that's tapping this screen. Thank you so much. Can you believe how close you can get to kangaroos here? No fences between you and the kangaroos. <laughs> Look at this guy. Joe Cool right there. That's who that is. Joe Cool. Joe Cool. Hi, buddy. <laughs> Everybody's napping. Nappy naps. Hi, baby. Pumpkin. Let's go see if we can see the baby. Oh my god. Look at this position. <laughs> Look at this position. Hang on. Let's see if I can brighten my screen at all so I can see what I'm looking at. How do you like that? Uh, that's the one that supposedly there's a joey in the pouch. So, Mama is, uh, <laughs> she's laid out. <laughs> she had a rough morning with that baby. Rough morning, guys. <laughs> too much, yeah, she had too much. Too much to drink last night. Oh, look at the belly. Look at the belly bouncing around. Oh my gosh. I don't know if you guys can see the belly moving. Hopefully you guys can. She got a baby up in there, a little Joey. She's got a little Joey in there. It's starting to get hot now. <laughs> She said, no, I don't, I don't want to have anything to do with people today. <laughs> Let's see if you guys can see the legs sticking out of the belly. Here we go. There we go. There you go, guys. Oh, my gosh. You see the legs sticking out of her pouch? You see the legs sticking out, guys? You're welcome, Stu. means each week when we come we're gonna get to see a little Joey growing up. And these are emus. Emus! Which of course look somewhat similar to ostriches. Alright. Isn't that cute? We got some more over here. At least one's standing up. <laughs> At least one of them is on his feet. I gotta find out when's the most active time for for kangaroos. 
Is there a particular time of day that the kangaroos are more active? The best time to come see these guys is when the zoo first opens up in the morning before yeah. they get the breakfast and they're all out. Okay. What time does the zoo open? Uh, let's see. I think you can get back here at 9.30. I think it'll open at 9.30. Okay. Thank you. Hi, you're welcome. Hi, guys. Oh, no running, please. Get everybody just down the pathway. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Alright, guys. Only a couple more couple more things to see. Um, I think we're going to skip, yeah, we're going to skip the uh, cockatiels for today because we are, well, I'm getting hot. <laughs> I'm getting hot. Hopefully you guys are nice and comfortable sitting on your couch or in your recliner, getting to go to the zoo. <laughs> What do they call it? Armchair travel, sort of, kind of? Do, 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 do. Thank you guys that have been tapping that screen. Your support and uh, gifts here on the channel are greatly appreciated. We're still trying to get to our, our fifth Lucy the Llama. See those guys. You're welcome, Cindy. Ooh, these are, uh, let me see what the heck this thing says North Sula Sulawesi Babi. <laughs> Babirusa? I don't know. They kind of look like ant eaters, sort of, but they have horns. They're really ugly. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't say that. I shouldn't say that about any animals, but these are probably the least attractive animals in the zoo. They're pretty gross looking. <laughs> pretty freaky. It'll be so nice to come in the winter time when it's cool out. Can't wait. We'll wrap up with the gift shop and see so you guys can see what they have here. I don't know for sure if we can access the meerkats. I'm going to have to go around the other way because uh, it's blocked off, blocked off in this direction. So, got to go. Although, let me see if we can see these guys. Oh, they are out. Oh, cool. I hardly ever catch these guys out of their enclosure. Let me get it lined up here, guys. Let's see. There we go. Thank you for the follow, Christy. Hi, Tanya. Now I can see my screen so I can read your comments and whatnot. There's two guys out here that I can see. That one. And then one right there. Whoops. Just chilling. Just chilling. Woo, we got that. Thank you so much, Busy Missy. We got to our goal. Yahoo! Thank you so much, guys. All right, we're setting up a new goal. Ten hand hearts is our new gift goal. Ten hand hearts. If you enjoyed this trip around the zoo and you're able to help support, I greatly appreciate it. But there is absolutely no requirement, no pressure. 
do 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 do. Thank you guys so much for tapping that screen. Appreciate it. Is he gonna go? <laughs> Is he gonna take the rope? Hi in Georgia. Welcome to the Brevard Zoo here on the Space Coast. Thank you for the rose, Brenda. I think they're slowly going down those ropes. Oh, I see the rope goes right over to that. Hang on. Thank you for the heart, me. Brenda, thanks for the high bears. So tonight, if you are new here, I will be uh, doing my regular... Oh, here he goes across the rope. Let me see if we can get him. <laughs> Just hanging out. Just hanging out. I'll be at the port showing you guys the Oasis of the Seas departing for a nighttime departure. So we're gonna have fun tonight. Start that'll be starting at 8 p.m. Oh, he's walking on the top of it. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at this! Oh my gosh, did you just see that? He literally just tightrope walked that. I've never seen that before in my life. Holy moly, you guys, did you see that? <laughs> oh my gosh. I've never seen that. Wow. That was super cool. <laughs> I wish I could have gotten it better, but I'm on a gimbal, so it's a little bit tough to move quickly. But, okay, they've gone in their little enclosure. Wow, that was super cool. I'm glad you guys saw that. <laughs> I've never seen that. He was literally tightrope walking. <laughs> Wowzer! That was so cool, you guys! <laughs> that was really neat. I'm glad I thought to go look over there because I didn't uh, I didn't even think of it the other day when I was here. Hi Kobe! Alright, we're gonna go wrap things up for today in the gift shop where there's air conditioning <laughs> they do have a little very nice snack bar here you can get your adult libations right over here I've got water in my car so I'm like I can make it it's not that hot out today you missed it Emily that's okay every Tuesday we're gonna do Tuesday t uh, Tuesday zoo days zoo day Tuesday There is also a little petting zoo area. There is a, a kid's splash area. So um, you can bring the little ones here in their bathing suit and everything and they can have a, a great old time. It's right behind this uh, fenced in area right here is where they have the, um, the kids splashy, splashy splash area. Thanks Val. Plus, I'm getting some steps in, which isn't a bad thing. So yeah, Tuesday mornings, starting around 10, 10.30, somewhere in that vicinity. Um, you can count on it as long as it's not raining or a bazillion degrees. <laughs> but we're going into the summer or the winter, so it should be starting to cool down. Today already feels a little bit, just a little bit cooler. Not tons cooler, but a little bit cooler. All right. <laughs> the door hooked on my wire. They are heavy. The door hooked on my wire. They are heavy. All right, let me turn this around. So let's see. Sort of like Legos, but not really Legos.
it's freezing? Oh, okay, let me get out of here. Thank you, you too. Okay. Hopefully our signal's better now. How are we doing now, guys? Better? I don't know if you guys heard me. I was asking, what was your favorite zoo animal that you got to see today? Put that in the chat. Once I get to the car, I can see better. Right now, I kind of can't see anything. Too bright. Too bright. What was your favorite zoo animal that you saw today, guys? I know mine, but I want to see what yours were before I post what my favorite one was. We did a lot better today as opposed to our walk around here on Saturday. <laughs> we saw a lot more, a lot more animals finally. Where's my car? <laughs> where am I parked? Oh, there I am. Couldn't remember where I parked. Birds, cheetah. Let me get in the car and then I can read these. Then I can read. Please. There we go. Okay, let's see what you guys said. Right after I get some water. <laughs> you like the rhino tree? <laughs> bear, lion, the birds, cheetah and baby kangaroo, birds, cheetah, the rhino tree, lion, lion, yeah I think mine was the lion because it was the first time I had seen it and although I'm sorry hang on that cheetah we got to see the cheetah really up close and that was the first time I've also seen the cheetah there because they used to keep the cheetah in a different area um, in the Africa loop uh, but they said that the cheetah was not happy there anymore I just don't know what happened to the Florida Panthers that we had I'm not sure if they got relocated or where they were but we used to have two Florida Panthers in that enclosure so anyway <laughs> Thank you guys so much for the gifts. I hope you had fun today. Uh, like I said, I will be at the port tonight, uh, 8 p.m. You love to see polar bears. Yeah, we don't have any polar bears in Florida. Well, I'm sorry. We don't have any polar bears in uh, the Brevard Zoo. I would hope that there's no polar bears anywhere in Florida. <laughs> in uh, the Brevard Zoo, I would hope that there's no polar bears anywhere in Florida <laughs> in any zoos, but there could be somewhere maybe in an enclosure with air conditioning. <laughs> Uh, blue eyes. They should be blue. Let's see. My screen is really dark. It's hard to see. It's hard for me to see what's on my screen. Let's see. My screen is really dark. It's hard to see. It's hard for me to see what's on my screen. Alright guys. Um, thanks again for hanging out this morning. Thank you for the gift.